Hello everyone, it's Khalif PvP bringing you another Black Desert video. This we're gonna do a, another tips and tricks in five minutes or less. So let's get started. The first tip we're gonna look at is the crouch and prone tip. So if you're in your your, your attack stance, which is your weapon drawn out, and you hit tap, so you're in kind of the default stance. If you hit Q, you will crouch, and then if you hit space after that, you will actually prone, and you can move around. Uh, while doing both of these things and the reason this is useful is one thing you might have noticed is my name tab like my name thing name bar name you know tag disappears so if again all of a sudden boom the name tag disappears and this is actually uh, in real time so it's just not me that has the name tag disappear it's if anybody else crouches they themselves will have their name tag disappear as well why is it useful well in GVG if you crouch, let's say, behind these you know, trees and whatnot, you're practically invisible. Um, you're completely stealthed, right? If you look around, you can barely see where my character is unless you're really paying attention, especially if your armor is kind of a earthy color that's going to blend in. Uh, you're going to be blended right into your surrounding. And if, as you see from this posted video, let's linked. Uh, a couple people actually use this tactic to avoid uh, being ganked and to gank themselves. The next tip is if you have items that you already plussed, don't sell them, don't put them into a warehouse if you're not going to use them. For example, I have a black horn warrior's bow that can only be used by samurais and plumes. Um, I already have it, you know, I already have a better weapon, so I don't really need this one. Now, a lot of people might have the inclination to sell it since it's not useful. Don't do that. In fact, it's actually, if you find a blacksmith or a weaponsmith, if you go up to them, there's an option called extraction. And there's a quest that actually teaches you some of this, but a lot of times people kind of just overlook it. So if you go to extraction, you can decide to extract blackstones, crystals, etc. You actually lose the item. So um, we'll start with that. Uh, you're guaranteed, I think, up to uh, five stones you're guaranteed so if you have five you're guaranteed the five and then anything after that it's kind of a random so you might get you know if you have for example plus 15 you're guaranteed again it's either five or seven one of those two you're guaranteed that amount and then the next amount is kind of random so if you hit that extraction button you completely destroy this weapon but you do get a black stone out of it so if you have armor that you no longer use don't sell them um, you can sell them in the auction house if people are going to buy it, but if, you, if it's an item like the one I was looking at, people don't really care about, you're better off extracting. The next tip is to train your strength. Um, strength is one of the three training skills you can get, uh, stamina and health being the other. I talked about stamina in my previous tips and tricks guide. Strength is the ability to kind of increase your maximum weight for example i've done my tr strength to a decent amount level 19 not too high but not too low either and i can carry up to 402 pounds i don't know what lt is supposed to be but we'll just assume it's pounds in order to do strength training all you have to do is get to a commerce npc hit the commerce option and get yourself a really cheap um trade item right uh, I think this one's 607 so let's find a really cheap one yeah I think 607 is the cheapest so go ahead and add that to yourself and what you're gonna do is while you carry this on your back you'll see that you're going super super slow and what you want to do is open up your mini map and you'll see kind of already kind of have it done so if you click on a location so let's I, I like to do straight away so if you click on a little location you'll see that your you know your auto pathing is blue Hold in Alt, and then it will. If you hover over the blue line, it will it will turn green. And if you click on that blue line, you will create a kind of a um, infinite auto pathing uh, path, right? And then what you what will happen is you'll continue to go back and forth between these two these two endpoints. 